Yeah, when I um, arrived into Rotonga and uh, took the shuttle uh, to the hotel, which is really only, gosh, four kilometers away, I was struck right, right away with the beauty of the place. I mean, you're right next to the ocean, the, blue, the aqua blue with the, with the waves crashing against the reef. You see it instantly, and uh, we arrived at the Edgewater Spa Resort, a beautiful, beautiful place. And your first impressions were just phenomenal. And really, quite frankly, got better from there. Um, out the first day, on the scooter, going into town, very easy to get around, and meeting the people. I mean, just chatting with people in the streets, uh, local people from the island, people from New Zealand. You're welcomed right away. Just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so I've had a couple of short runs already on the island. The first one, uh, we met three Japanese gentlemen, uh, top, top marathon runners. And actually we ran with them from the airport to the, to the resort. And yeah, I just, it was interesting. I really wanted to keep an eye on the road, just look at the potential obstacles, some of the challenges. And that was a, that was a good four, uh, four kilometers run. And last night we did the 5K fun run uh, yeah. from, the, from the main town of Varu and 5K out, or two and a half K out, two and a half K back. And a couple of things struck me for running longer, uh, the humidity. I've really got to make sure I hydrate uh, sufficiently. I was sweating buckets and um, I've got to take in the water and my nutrition. So that's going to be number one for me. I've been very, uh, very excited about the media coverage that uh, I've received and Right to Play has received since arriving here. We had the Cook Island News uh, do a couple of articles. Uh, Cook Island TV uh, did an interview. I was on the radio, FM 88. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. And just talking to people about Right to Play, they're very interested in, in, the, in the idea and the, and the charity of helping children with play. Uh, it fits in perfectly with the kind of lifestyle that I've seen over here on the island, big sports, uh, rugby, I've seen uh, you know, soccer, these, these people are very much into it. So uh, no, this, is, this has been phenomenal and I've really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, so I start at 9 p.m. tonight and uh, fingers crossed, hopefully I'll be finished by 10 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning. 13 hours of running and with that, with that kind of a distance I have to do several things afterwards. One of them is eat, uh, get some chocolate milk or coconut water which is plenty here, I get that into me but also what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the ocean. It's only 100 meters from the, from the finish line, that'll, uh, that'll flush out the lactic acid in the, in the legs. And I tell you I can't think of a better way of finishing a race than, than drinking coconut water and jumping in the ocean.